Every Saturday since we've lived in this apartment, I have awakened at 6.15, poured myself a bowl of cereal, added a quarter cup of 2% milk, sat on this end of this couch, turned on BBC America, and watched Doctor Who. For someone who has a machine that can travel anywhere in time and space, Doctor Who sure does have a thing for modern day London. <laughs> Careful, it's that kind of sass that can get a person uninvited to this year's Who-Con. <laughs> you know, I love you too. Nothing to see here, just sexy police business. Is, is this the, the first time you've lost, you know, someone close to you? Oh, no. No, um, I've already had to say goodbye to 11 Doctor Whos. <laughs> if I didn't have you, life would be blue. I'd be Doctor Who without the TARDIS. Come on, you know, there's got to be something fun we could do that the guys will hate. Hang on, why do we have to hate it? Three words, Doctor Who convention. I did not force you to go to that. You walked out of the house in a fez and bow tie. I went so you didn't get beat up. Excuse me, why is there a sticker on this? It's my TARDIS from Doctor Who. I was planning on moving it in the house. I think you just answered your own question. Amy, the Daleks are right on my tail. Quick, we need to reset the time circuits. Oh no, I left my sonic screwdriver behind. Really should have thought this through. So I thought the photo booth for the party could either be creepy like a mummy's tomb, or they also have the TARDIS from Doctor Who. A TARDIS makes no sense. It's a time machine from a science fiction show. It has nothing to do with Halloween. That being said, if you don't get a TARDIS, you stink and your party stinks. Award for best group costume goes to Justice League of America. 